When I flip through the pages of this chapter of my life, three themes stand out to me. Clarity, consistency, and creativity. After what's felt like a necessary season of uncertainty, change, and searching, this sense of direction is refreshing to feel. It's like dead leaves have been thinned back to make way for a new season of growth. I'm finally starting to see blossoms blooming on trees I've planted in the past few years of my life. I hope this video can spark a sense of self-validation within you, and I hope it can inspire you to pursue your desires and ambitions in life. I hope you see how wonderful your gifts are and how brilliant your ideas are. I hope you grow to become so self-assured and confident. I hope you grow to become the most courageous and loving version of yourself. I know that I didn't come here to stay. I didn't come to this earth to stay any more than I came to London to stay. I'm in process. So I do the best I can all the time and I say bye. two days a week in an architecture studio which feels like the perfect balance because whilst I do love architecture it feels like only a fraction of what I want to spend my time doing. It's the job I can detach from quite easily and there's great comfort in that. I walk into the office and tune into my podcasts, my mind trailing in distant lands as I sit at the computer and work. For some context and in case you're also wanting to pursue a career of architecture or interior architecture, I spent three years studying my bachelor's degree of architectural studies and from there I worked in a couple of different studios for about three years and now I'm here working partially as an architectural designer and partially as a content creator. Wednesday. I'm tired. I did not get a good night's sleep last night. I had one of those nights where I was just getting like so many ideas and like so many thoughts were coming to me um, just at the wrong time. I was like, I need to be going to bed right now. It's 11 p.m. I want to get a good night's sleep. But the ideas and the thoughts, they just kept on coming. And so I ended up getting to bed at like midnight and then I had to get up at 6.30 and went for a walk with a friend. Um, and now it's time to sit down and get some work done. On Wednesdays and Thursdays at the moment, I'm working for a brand doing social media management for their TikTok account. So I'm working for this brand called Libido. Um, they're like a sexual wellness brand and they sell vibrators and candles and massage oil and lube. And yeah, I'm coming up with ideas and creating content for their TikTok account, which I'm honestly loving. I'm so glad to have this like opportunity because it really, it started off with like a collaboration between us where I reached out to them to see if they wanted to work together because I was a huge fan of their brand and I saw that they did collaborations with people. And so I just like cold emailed them and was basically like, do you wanna work together? And then they sent me an email back 
uh, this is like a year and a half ago probably or maybe two years ago um, anyway they sent me an email back and they said that they did want to work together and they offered me a gifted collaboration and they sent me one of their vibrators and then they really liked the video that I created for them so they wanted me to make another video for them so then I did that and then I got paid for that video that I made and yeah then they just really liked the content that I made for them and I created a few videos for them I think I did two more maybe a few months later and then a few months ago they reached out to me to see if I would be interested in a social media management role for running their TikTok account and creating content for their TikToks um, because they liked the content that I did for them in the past and I was like yes oh my god absolutely um, like it was like perfect timing because I was trying to look for work that was remote and freelance and this is two days a week it's doing something I enjoy it's for a brand I I really like um and a brand that I feel like my values are aligned with um so I was like yes absolutely so I created like a few sort of pitch videos to send to them of like what I could create for their TikTok account so yeah basically that's how I got that job and now I'm doing it two days a week and I think I'm about two months into the role now but it is hard sitting down and being like I'm going to come up with ideas for videos today like trying to sit down with like rigidity and be like let's come up with ideas it's just like I don't know I think that ideas and creativity are so much more like free-flowing um, but alas I'm gonna sit at my computer and try and think of ideas and then I also have two other videos that I might get around to shooting later to get today if I get this work done. Two separate collaborations with different brands that I have reached out to and that ended up sending me product and wanted to work together. I feel like the whole thing with like getting collaborations with brands and like UGC content and just like getting paid for creating content is really just like putting yourself out there. I think I started creating content for brands like in 2022. Um, I just found a bunch of brands that I liked. They were smaller brands and I reached out to them on Instagram DM and just said like, basically like, do you want to work together? Do you want to collaborate? Um, and like pitched an idea of like what I thought I could offer them, like what sort of videos, what sort of content I could create for them. And then a couple of brands got back to me and I think I just, I did mostly gifted collaborations at the start. And I think I remember my first one that I got paid for, it was like $200 for a reel. And then like slowly over time, I started getting more. And then also once you do a few, it's like you start to build a portfolio and like have examples of work that you can send to other brands as well. So now I've made a website with like all of the different work that I've done for different brands. And now when I reach out to brands, I just like send them my website and then we can discuss rates later on. But the whole like content creation and getting paid for collaborations has been a really nice thing to sort of like tap into just for like a little bit of extra income and also now this social media management job has come from me just like being like hey let me just cold cold email brands and see see how it goes and put myself out there and now I've got a job working two days a week for a company that I really love so that is what I'm doing today <laughs> And my favorite thing to do, I'm going to play my Spotify Discover Weekly, try and find some new music whilst I work. Already a vibe. got toast with a mixed up in a bowl chopped cucumber avocado pickled onion and turmeric kraut and I've got an iced tea a pretty good lunch mm -hmm. Mm. I've been taking this week off of Instagram and it's so nice like not like noticing when I go to reach to my phone just to like fill the time and like just to have something to do half the time I open my phone and I don't even have anything I've like intended to open my phone for do you know what I mean and then I just will open an app and start scrolling with no real intention of like what I'm doing Instagram feels like a nice reset to like I don't know just like getting just like getting realigned with like why I'm using Instagram and like the purpose with the app you know and then I feel like when I go back on the app afterwards I have more intention of like oh yeah I'm going on this app to do something rather than I'm going on this app to like mindlessly fill time and there's so many other things to do on the phone other than Instagram um just like googling things um 
just reading things. I got on this wormhole last night looking at, I wanted to look at magazines because it clicked to me. I was like, I used to love reading magazines when I was younger. Like the Kinfolk one, the Frankie magazine, all of these magazines that I really loved reading. And I'd like, I would, it would be like a thing. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to buy a magazine. And it was like so expensive, like $30 to buy a magazine, which was like all of my like pocket money. <laughs> and it just dawned on me that I've stopped buying magazines as I became an adult and I'm like, why did I do that? I want to buy magazines still. So I started Googling like different indie magazine publications and then I started finding all of these different magazines that I want to buy and now I've got a magazine wish list. Um, I wish I was in a city and I could go to like a really nice bookstore. I remember I went to this beautiful bookshop in New York called... I don't remember but they had so many magazines there and I just want to go somewhere like that. I wish I could just pop out right now and go to a magazine, um, a magazine shop, a bookshop and just like flick through dilly dally, but the grass is always greener and we always want what we can't have. And right now I have beautiful sunshine outside. I have the beach I can go to. I have all of these things. Life is amazing. And I am going to go to the beach soon because it's my friend's birthday today. And so she's having a little celebration at the beach. So I'm just going to go and say hi. And then I'm going to come back and continue the other work that I have to do. But right now I'm eating my lunch. showered, moisturized, skincare done with a cup of tea in your pajamas at the end of the day is chef's kiss. In 20 minutes I've got a call on Zoom with a company who reached out to me and have asked if I wanted to collaborate and do a YouTube sponsorship with, which is so exciting because I've never worked with a brand um, on YouTube before I've done any sponsorship or anything like that on my videos so that's really exciting I feel like it's like that extra bit of confirmation that my channel is like on its way to something and becoming something and growing um, which is like what I want and what I've been like working towards um, like to be able to make money from making these videos that I love making so much would be so so nice so it's like one small step towards what I want so I'm looking forward to this call um, I feel like I've had a lot of trouble in the past with like invalidating myself when I do like content work and like collaborations and just like YouTube in general and like yeah anything sort of content related I've found myself um, just like invalidating that work a lot like telling myself that it's not like real work or that it doesn't count or you know all of these like sort of narratives I think that we can just sort of internalize a lot. I also think that having that mentality and like seeing, like invalidating your work is so like unproductive and unhelpful in like actually getting you places because I do think that when you see yourself in a way that's like invalidating yourself or looking at yourself in a way other than what it is you want to show up as, I think that can take away from you actually like stepping into like your greatness and your potential. And I think that since me just like taking YouTube and making all these videos more like seriously in a sense of just like validating myself and recognizing it as actual work and as something that I am doing and building and growing um, like my channel has been growing and I've been getting like yeah these little like messages of confirmation like a brand reaching out to me to do a collaboration just like small things like that since I've started to actually step into this and be like oh wait I actually am doing this and I am this is work basically and not being like oh yeah it's just like something little I do on the side like talking it down heaps I think that's just so unhelpful and I'm definitely trying not to do that anymore um so yeah tea moisturized showered gonna have a call soon it's a good end to the day I want to do my nails I have like some um biab gel that I want to put on my nails but do I want to be doing my nails right before I go into this call 
this is my problem. I always like start to do things, like cut things way too fine. I'm like, yeah, sure, I can do my nails in 10 minutes. And then I'm like stressing out and rushing. So I think I should just do that later on rather than just stressing myself out now. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Plant-based ingredients that will help improve the integrity of the skin over time. Then with our mixing tool, we're going to scrape out about a third of the piece. Morning. It's just turned into autumn here in Australia and there's like a cool breeze coming through the windows right now and it feels so nice and these are new sheets and the birds are tweeting and I absolutely do not want to get out of bed. I'm channeling the energy right now of like when you're dating somebody or seeing someone and you're like lying in bed together and you're having a nice chill morning and you're cuddling. That's the energy I'm channeling this morning, but by myself. It feels really nice. I'm cuddling my pillows. That's my, my boyfriend. I'm not gonna lie, that feels really nice. <laughs> I get dressed into a whole outfit in the morning like I just wish I had somewhere to go right now isn't this so cute I've got this skirt on let me bring it down so this is the dream outfit that I would be wearing today if I was walking down the street in the city going to a bookshop in like New York or London but I am gonna be at home working today so I don't need half of this I don't need these heels <laughs> I need my slippers I don't need my sunnies, I need my glasses. And now we have a working from home outfit. Today is going to be mainly a day of like filming and creating content. So this morning I am going to update my scrapbook. I started keeping a scrapbook in 2022 and I just love having my photos printed out and having them tangible. I feel like it's just not something that we do that much anymore. Like all of our photos are stuck in our camera roll and I hate just having everything kept digitally. It feels really nice to have like actual photos on paper to like flick through and like show people and like tell people about um, like trips you've been on or like just experiences you've had I feel like it's just a nice way to keep your memories so I've been doing that since 2022 this book is my scrapbook for 2023 and for the past like month I've been making these TikToks about scrapbooking and like my process I just I've just been trying to create more of a niche on my TikTok account around scrapbooking and journaling so that is my first task today to film some videos for my scrapbook and then I have to film the content for the brands for the collaborations that I'm doing and then I also have to film the TikToks for the brand that I'm working for that I planned yesterday so there's a lot of like filming to do today I'm just filming these videos on this piece of plywood and then I'm going to use my ring light just as a way to prop my phone over the top to get like a bird's eye shot and then I'm literally just going to sit and scrapbook and have the camera running and then I'll go and edit it later on but yeah a nice little soothing activity for a Thursday morning I think
This is my like Caesar salad esque situation. making us a huge salad and just having the whole bowl and just so abundant. Concealer mm. foundation is so versatile as well and you barely need any of it. I mixed a tiny amount with the serum primer and it just melts into this beautiful like tinted moisturizer texture. It's such a perfect, it's such a perfect dewy base. It's weightless. It's such a perfect, it's such a perfect dewy base. It's weightless, it's breathable and it's nourishing. Mm. space and I'm just doing work by myself in my room is like the social interaction that you get when you're in an office space or a shared workspace um, so it was really nice this day Joy came over and we just sat down and shared the space together did some work and it's nice to just have someone else there just to sort of drop in and out of conversation with even if you're not directly like hanging out just to have someone there to chat with and have a laugh with and share your thoughts share your ideas with and to top it off, it was raining outside, so it felt so nice and cozy to just sit in my room with a candle lit and work away. I feel like I'm my most productive when the weather is not great outside because I don't get like a fear of missing out of being outside in the sunshine. But I just sat down for a couple of hours and did some editing. today I think because it's raining I feel like when it's raining you light a candle play some calm music also joy coming over was so nice to like be able to do some work with someone so I'm not just like by myself the whole time but I had a deadline for the two brands I was working with they both wanted the content by the end of the day today so I got that done and it sent I had planned to edit the content yesterday but I was too tired and my nap like threw a spanner in the works of my day. I feel like I've had a really nice like balanced week in terms of like work and social activities. Like, I don't know, my cup feels really full in a lot of different ways this week. It's Friday today, end of the week, and I'm feeling fulfilled and also like accomplished. Um, it just feels really good to be able to be doing stuff that I want to be doing. And like, even like sitting down and editing these videos for those brands, it's like, I used to do this shit for free. I don't know, it feels just like, Dreams are coming true, and it feels really good. Um, but I'm having my cheese toasty. I made sourdough yesterday, so this is fresh sourdough, cheese, tomato, um, pickled onions, and chipotle paste. It's gonna be good. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm. Putting chipotle, like chipotle paste, on grilled cheese, cheese toasties, so good. Oh, this feels so good. 
I'm just gonna zone out and like stretch my brain. Mm. Also, when you're not like watching anything or like being stimulated whilst you eat, I feel like you can taste the food so much more. Mm. So many flavors, so many textures. Got a bit of work to do today for my freelance architecture job it's another kind of like cloudy gloomy gray day which feels really conducive to sitting inside and getting things done and i've made myself a cup of chai lit my candle i'm pretty ready but now it is almost 11 a.m and i'm gonna start doing a bit of work <laughs> 